In designing the project, planners are considering two options. One option would raise Scoggins Dam by 40 feet, doubling the storage capacity of the reservoir and generating a 50-year water supply. The second option would raise the dam by only 25 feet and would require additional water from the Willamette River. By raising the dam 40 feet, we can meet the long-range water supply and all the needs that occur for the next 50 years. Currently, water released from the dam travels down Scoggins Creek and into the Tualatin River, where it is then pumped for irrigation use or delivered to the treatment plant. The Tualatin Basin Water Supply Project will include building a raw water pipeline. During the summer months, this pipe will deliver reservoir water directly to the Joint Water Commission Water Treatment Plant. In the winter, when rains are heavy, the Spring Hill Pump Plant will pump water uphill through the pipe, pulling water from the main stem of the Tualatin River to help fill the reservoir to capacity. If the dam is raised by only 25 feet, an additional pipeline would be built to deliver treated drinking water from the Willamette River to eastern Washington County. To accommodate the rising water level, planners are redesigning access to the lake. There's a bike trail that goes all the way around the lake. What I'm advocating is leave the bridge as a bike trail. About half of the road will be rebuilt, new foraging grounds for elk will be established, and all of the recreation areas will be moved to higher elevations. Here at Recreation Area C, a 25-foot dam raise would flood the current building facilities. A 40-foot dam raise would also inundate the parking lots. The proposed site for the new recreation area will stretch further north along the shoreline. The road and all facilities will be rebuilt onto higher ground. We don't realize the value of water until the well goes dry. We've been working on this project for eight years, and typically these projects take at a minimum 10 to 12 years, if not 15 years. So at that 15 year time period, at 2016, some of the municipalities and also Clean Water Services start to run out of water. So we have to start today to meet that future deadline. Water is about as basic as you can get. If you don't have water, you can't sustain, you cannot grow. As we looked at the different water sources and evaluated them, the expansion of this source is our least cost option and will provide us with enough water for 50 years, which when you look at how other parts of the country are having to deal with water shortages and climate change, we are well positioned to meet our growth for the next 50 years and beyond, and that's important.